wash, you could do what you want. Have a good night. Hold up, 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 hold up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? Because I've been giving commentary on there. But I have not given commentary on YouTube, like a full-fledged video for YouTube. Because this case has been pending for two years. And there was so much shit going on with this case. That I did not feel like giving commentary on a day-to-day -day basis was good. For the simple fact that I wanted to absorb everything first. And then give y'all constructive commentary. Now, shout out to Mob Wiggins, Milagro Grams, aka Mob Radio, Nika at Night, and Official King Payne. As black YouTubers who's in that courtroom getting the tea and giving us it every day, period. Love y'all to death. Love my black people, okay? Now, let me say this before I get my full commentary. I'm going to let y'all let the dad, Tori's dad, speak on how he felt about the situation. And then when I come back, I'll tell you how I feel wholeheartedly. However, I think y'all already know this. Tori, Tori Lane was, was found guilty on all three counts. So this caused a uproar in the courtroom. So I'm gonna let his dad tell you how he feels and that'll give you a feeling of how I'm gonna comment on this. So check this out. You wanna know exactly how I'm feeling? Yes, sir. I just stood here in this Los Angeles County and witnessed the worst miscarriage of justice yes. that this world has yes. ever seen. Yes. You wanna know how I feel? Yes. I'll tell you exactly how I feel. I got some names that I wanna call. Alex Spiro, Desiree Perez, and the whole wicked system of Rock Nation, yep. including you, Jay-Z. Yes. Yes. You who yes. say you rose from the gutter, but you have traded and bartered the souls of young men. Yep. And you're still doing it. Amen. The only independent witness in this courtroom is a man whose name is Sean Kelly. He came to court and our attorneys he would not even shake their hand after he went upstairs with Kathy Ta and Alex Bart. They met on Saturday before. They met, they on met with our Saturday witness. Night. And then the man came back. And remember. I sat in the hallway while he sat with Jody Little, the prosecutor's investigator, who acted so dumb, an intelligent woman who did not want, listen, I've seen so much evidence buried in this, yeah. and I know exactly what the public out oh, here will yeah, say. Yeah. Don't talk. You will say, I say this because I'm a father. See, I am a father of thousands around the world. I'm a father of my kids, but a spiritual father to many. And I don't make stupid allegations because I got nothing better to do. You all have been bartering and trading the souls of young black and brown men yes. in this country. And I'm calling on all the umbrellas. I'm calling on everybody in this country to begin to rise up That's because right. your sons yes. have been done right. dirty. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. It's not over. Amen. It's not over. God does not lose. Never. And even though we have come to this juncture, trust me, you will see that our God does not fail. This is not the I question. know That's right. That's right. that this is wickedness. Right. This district attorney, Miss Kathy Ta, is the same one that witnessed or knew that five sheriff's deputies in LA County beat up a Spanish man with the last name Carrillo until the guy was beaten to uh, and passed out. ABC News interviewed that man after Eyewitness News. And he said, I thought I would never be here to see my child born and I would never been able to be around to see my other child rise up. But I'm telling you, this court system is not for justice. It's about wins and losses and they do dirty to do whatever they can. Jay-Z, let me speak to you. He has kids. Rock let me Nation. Talk to you. Yes. Because my son refused to sign a Rock yes. Nation yes. deal with you. Yes. And Desiree Perez, you wicked witch, you snitch. Yes. You turned on your coast conspirators, all the whole mafia one of you that was peddling drugs in this country and you rolled on them before so the Fed could give you a deal. All of you, trust me, I have intercessors, prayer warriors around the world. 
and they will not stop until you are cut off. No, we don't shoot you with guns, but we know exactly how to bring you down in the spirit. They all have children. They all have children. It's all done. Let's go. Open way, open way, open way, guys. Open up, open up, open up. Open up, open up. Open up. With my brother's reputation. Liars. Watch this still. Right. Now, how do I feel about all this shit? Um, I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't think Tori's guilty. I don't. Um, between Megan lying and Kelsey lying and Sean Kelly's testimony being very janky, um, Quan didn't testify, Justin didn't testify, and the only person that didn't need to testify because he would have got taken out was Tori. None of this shit makes sense to me at all. I don't feel like this trial was fair. And the fact that the jury had a unanimous vote on a guilty charge is blasphemy. I'm sorry to say it. Now, this does not mean that I'm against black women. I love black women. I would not be here with a black women. And I'm always going to stand by and protect black women. However, when it comes to Megan Thee Stallion, the same one who is now the poster child for protect black women has not ever defended a black woman. And look what we start with, Kelsey. When Kelsey got um, taken and was thrown left and right in the shade room comments and Twitter's comments, after all this happened with Tory Lanez and Megan, this is, you know, in 2020, did May come out defend her best friend? No. When her and Kelsey had finally started going at it, all you saw was making new friends coming at Kelsey. They made a little distrust against each other, and then it became a travesty, is what I feel like. How has this girl been your best friend for X amount of years? And then as soon as y'all start beefing over this situation, it goes to hell. But here we go. It went to hell. Why? Because, oh, that was weak as hell. <laughs> because. Kelsey finds out in this drunken argument in this damn vehicle that you had slept with Tori. After you had put Kelsey and Tori together, you go behind her back and sleep with her. And that's not the first, I said her, I meant him. And that's not the first or the second or the third time you slept behind Kelsey behind a nigga. Period. Megan, you ain't got a good track record with your pussy. I hate to say it like that, but you don't. And I'm not calling Megan a hoe because I feel like, oh, you see all these niggas, so you're a hoe. No, because it's your pussy to do what you want. But you being a girl in the industry where that comes with territory and reputation, that's not a good on you, Megan. And I love my brother Conscious TV, but he said it too. It would be embarrassing as hell to find out that me as an assistant, you fucking behind your assistant, so who got real platinum pussy? Kelsey, period. Let's keep going though. Kelsey asked for immunity. Why if you weren't guilty? Sean Kelly. Originally, you said Tori had the gun. And they came around and said, because you talked you talk to Carrie's defense. I said Carrie. Jesus Christ. Behind Tori's defense. Oh, my God. <laughs> See how I'm so flustered? This shit is annoying. You went to Tori's defense team and talked to them, and you told them that all of a sudden Kelsey had the gun. That's not lying. Everybody's lying. Kelsey's told the story in September. She started real comfortable with Matt Smooth and shit. And it came to court. It lied. Everybody lied. Let's get back to Meg. Meg said that she get shot in her feet. Mind you, it was a foot, not feet. And she said, I got shot two times and ate that shit. Ah. You also said it was glass. And you for the road that story, it was glass. Until you said it was Tory publicist in the background talking shit. What made you say that Tory shot you? So you weren't going to say nothing. Period. Let's just also think the fact that this is not Megan versus Tory. It was the state of California versus Tory. Meg probably wouldn't even testify if she didn't have to. Because now look at Megan. 
nobody gonna fuck with her because now you're not just one a snitch but two in the eyes of niggas you if you sleep behind somebody they can't fuck with you because you'll probably get them shot basically you had Tori's dad try to come at Desiree Perez who's who? Rock Nation you then and I don't know if it was you or not so I'm going to say allegedly I'm going to say allegedly with the whole Rock Nation thing that's all legit Rock Nation exposed Justice Nudes and then he came to trial today knowing he wasn't going to testify so why he come for him they said they weren't looking for uh, Justin anymore. But all of a sudden, now he's here. Then when he came to Quan, they wanted to take a whole week to talk to Quan. And the judge said, hell no. Nah. We can do it a little sooner. And it threw it out completely. Everything about this case is janky. And for everybody looking at it with just a bird's eye view, just in front of your face, it's, yes, Tori got taken down. Shout out to Megan. Y'all need to apologize. Apologize for what? I apologize to no Megan. Girl, bye. Then you got Parson Fontaine. Oh, huh. look at the party real quick. Check this out. Then here comes Partisan speaking up for his girl or so be it. But Partisan, where the hell were you at when Megan was testifying? Because we didn't see you in the courtroom. And also, allegedly, you put hands on Cash Doll. And allegedly, you know, you write for all the girls. Well, that's not allegedly. That's true. That's fact. You write for all the girls. And you specifically write for a certain female rapper who has drugged and robbed men, told somebody mama to catch AIDS, um, had somebody go sit and go beat up two women over her nigga cheating on her. But you not want to speak for, for injustice for women? Boy, shut the hell up. Girl, anyways. Like I said, to conclude this video, nobody wins. This was a setback for the black community. Nobody wins. Because everybody got a piece of fault in this shit. Period. So take it for what you will. But this was not a good day for nobody. And I'm going to keep to that. So anyways, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace.